time to do my intern and I saw that the skills and the knowledge that I've gained in Europe would, was very useful. needed and useful wow. in a country. So based on that, I've been working in different diversity in, in the focus of migration and development. Mm -hmm. And for the past years, it was really the issue of migration development was focusing on migrants as a target group and not as an actor. And more or less, I believe that we should be more than a target group, but we should be an actor. We should be on the driver's seat, as they say, and discuss about the direction to go. So I'm actually trying to set up a movement where we move out the issue of um, separating ourselves from the community that we are living in and becoming a world citizens. Becoming more relevant to, to other, other, other uh, countries, is that what you are trying to say? No, not and only here. Not only here, but if you are living here in the Netherlands, where we are saying that the world is a, a global village, mm -hmm. then you should uh, place yourself within that context and also develop yourself in that form. That there's a lot to do. It's not only that you give money that uh, you can get yourself involved, but you can also have debates, but you can also organize activities, raise funds, you can do all sorts of things that get yourself involved in the discussion of how, which direction we should go with development cooperation because we shouldn't forget everything that affects the developing countries has also direct impact on your lives over here. So how do you want migrants like us who are living outside their home countries to get involved with the projects you are running? Actually, what we, we have a, a three steps um, approach. First of all, we want to inform uh, the public, especially the migrants, about their possible role that they can play. Second of all, we want to facilitate them when they have their own initiatives that will help them in project writing and also looking at the broader context of uh, development cooperation. And third of all, I think what we want to do is we want to organize in October a very big uh, event, actually uh, the, uh, more or less an action week where all sort of activities will be uh, done within uh, Amsterdam and surrounding areas where we can get ourselves really involved. Uh, time for action actually. So the other partners of uh, this uh, route development, have they also been uh, outside the Netherlands? Yes, uh, we have partners in uh, um, most uh, countries of our region, let's say Suriname, Ghana, but we also are in discussion with partners in Ethiopia, uh, Liberia, Sierra Leone. So we have a broad network. Uh, within European Union, we also have partners. Uh, within this project, our main partner is the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, as in, we wrote a proposal to them with the aim of involving especially the young people within the whole issue that okay let's come together and set up new target being innovative in development cooperation really so how many are you really oh uh, we started small but now we are a growing number uh, we are more than i would say uh, more than uh, 100 really involved and we are uh, uh, big, becoming uh, greater because our organization we want to facilitate so mm -hmm. it is not really mm -hmm. that we want to set it up we want to facilitate people to set it up so that at the end of it they will also involve their uh, friends and family and we so these are on. only for migrants not for the indigents not just for the migrants no, actually um, what I said is um, no we want to involve them too because it is a partnership, it's development cooperation. You, you cooperate with each other. And I believe that we need each other to develop it. And we call it the triple win. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that we do has to have a benefit for the person involved, um, the country where the, uh, the activity is done, so here in the Netherlands, and also the country where it is going. So that at the end of it, we bring it back. That's why we call it Roots for Development. We bring it back to the the roots of development. Why did we start doing development cooperation? Because we wanted to have a uh, equal world where everybody can share the enjoyment of the world. And it seems like now we are too much focusing on uh, what is mine and what is yours. Mm -hmm. But I believe mm -hmm. that if we are able to share it among each other equally 
everybody will be satisfied. So our uh, foreign affairs ministries, are they also involved? I mean, from Ghana? You're from Ghana, isn't it? Yes, I'm from Ghana. So are they also involved? Because Not yet, but I think we should start from the grassroots. Um, let's be begin with you and I. Mm -hmm. Let's begin with what do we want. At the end of it, government is made by us. So when we come together with one mind, we can then direct the ministries, the governments in the direction that we want and not the other way around. It's not that the government should decide what is good for us, we should decide what they have to do. Wow, That's, that it sounds very interesting. I hope it will be very realistic too. <laughs> it is realistic because every, it, it, sometimes I go to Ghana and I see the Kosovo Dam. It, was, it is set up and we are talking about um, a new form of energy and all those things. But at that time, um, although we didn't have real good electricity, but we have a water dam that generates electricity. So if it is, we have been to the moon, so why shouldn't it be possible for us as the grassroots to start something new where we direct the government where they should go? Hmm. Wow. So about uh, migrant youths, what exactly has your current program got to offer them? Uh, as I said, we offer them uh, training, uh, training okay. uh, first of all, and second of all, awareness. Before you can act, you need to be aware of the situation. So how do you do that? Um, we organize network events, uh, but we also have uh, consultation uh, meetings. Um, and besides that, we also give opportunities for young people to visit some of the projects in uh, a few of our uh, developing countries that we have relationship with. Wow, this is awesome. So when are you having your next uh, information night? Or oh, we are planning uh, to set up some uh, in April. In uh, April, um, one will be in Amsterdam, one will be in Rotterdam, and then continuously we will move within uh, Den Haag, Almere. So we want to target the big cities where majority of migrants live. Well, I'm going to ask you our last question because of time. You are involved with program Route, of, uh, Route for Development. How is activities related to or different from what you were doing at Intent, your previous company? Is uh, it not almost like no, the same? No, it's, it's, not the, it's not the same because uh, I believe there are four ways to get yourself involved in development cooperation. First of all, you can say, okay, I'm starting a business in the country of origin to develop, but not everybody is an entrepreneur, not everybody would like to set up a business. The other form could be that you are doing investments, which is very good, but the other three others is also setting up an infrastructure. Somebody could have, okay, I'm very good in uh, um, yeah, marketing some activities, or I'm very good in helping young people to do something in development com uh, countries. It, it is all about involvement. Uh, direct or indirect and that is what we are uh, focusing on as in with intent it was really focusing on somebody who wants to set up a business in country of origin. So before we sign up any special information you wish to leave behind with our listeners? Um, if you are interested just uh, check our website www.rootsfordevelopment.dev.nl uh, um, besides that, we are also on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So I would say join us and let's build uh, something new. Wow, that's exciting. Thank you, Richard, for being with us. And we hope next time um, you'll be here on time and then we can uh, dig further. Yeah, that is good. Okay, thank you for having me here. <laughs> well, listeners, 